G'day guys, it's Heidi here, taking you through the fourth lesson for the Guitar Method Book 1. Um, hope every day you're playing every song along with the backing track. Remember you can look it up on YouTube, um, Guitar Method Book 1, and all the songs will come up. Um, I'd also like you to be playing every day. Hope you can remember it off by heart, the G major scale, where we don't play an F here, we're playing instead of that F on the first fret, it's gonna be on the second fret. So your major scale, starting on G. Hope that's going well and you can remember that one off by heart. Also, allocate a finger per fret. Make sure the first finger's first fret notes and third finger's third fret notes. That's really important. Second finger, second fret notes. And halfway down um, is where your thumb should be, pointing up to the roof. Not like so. All right, that'll give us a nice um, wrist, a nice arched wrist. Um, on page 13, we're going to have a look at the duet called A Claire de la Lung. Um, duet meaning we should have two instruments playing together. We may not. So we're going to use the backing track for part two and you will play part one. You'll see the brackets going down the page. So you're playing the top line of each bracket. And this is how it goes. There's no more new, no new notes to, to play. I hope you uh, like that one and perhaps you've got a friend that might play along with you. That'll be fun too. Counting and tapping your foot might help you to keep in time. Let's have a look at Aura Lee, made famous by Elvis Presley's uh, Love Me Tender. You may know it um, as that, but um, this one has no more new notes for you to learn either. So we can jump right in and enjoy straight away. Elvis Presley. I hope you enjoyed that too. Next we have to learn about 3-4 time. Now it is a fraction and the top number is going to tell us that we've got three beats in the bar. Up until now you've played four beats in the bar. So this will be a little bit different but not very different. Um, the four underneath um, the bottom part of the fraction is telling us what type of note we're, um, we're using, like the language of, of the note. Um, we're just using normal one beat notes, which we have been all the way up until now. So not really a lot changes here, but there's just going to be three beats in the bar. More will be learnt on time signature as we progress, but just at the moment, three beats in the bar. Other thing we're learning here is um, the dotted minimum. A minim is a two beat note. You've been reading um, you've been reading these minims and holding them for two counts when they come up. But this time we're gonna have a dot next to your your minim right here, and so that equals three. The mass theory behind it is when you see um, this note, the dot with a dot next to it, the dot actually adds on half more of the value of the note. So half of the two equals one, so it's got to be two plus one equals three. So the dot adds half more of a value onto that note. Um, 
Well, let's have a look at He's a Jolly Good Fellow. Um, it is a little bit tricky to, to pick up, and four is not... <laughs> we're not starting with four, he's a jolly good fellow. We're just doing he's a jolly good fellow. help you to um, sort of feel what's happening here but remember we're just counting to three to to start and three all the way through you enjoy these new pieces and um, and and get a good hang of them um, I'll see you next time thanks